Happy Tuesday. We're getting our grass mowed finally. So there's the before look. The camera doesn't do it justice. It is uh, really long. So we're going to get that done on this perfect day. Look at that bird just landed over there. Hey, bird. Anyway, it's a perfect Tuesday. Not a cloud in the sky. Not quite as chilly as last uh, morning yesterday. But it's a great day. Got a GoPro going. A little bit of the sun hitting the, the, the tree. So uh, nothing too crazy. But I like to do the morning GoPros. So hopefully you have a... I said it again. That's one. Smack me in the face. Okay. Today's going to be a great day. I'm going to go because they're zipping the mower around and it's going to get loud. And uh, let's see what else is going on other than... There she is. The, the, the queen. The queen of the house. Ah, so much better, huh? I know you probably can't tell a huge difference, but we can. So much better. So much better. Yard looks good. Look at all that brown and dead we had right here for about a month. Now it's gone. Sean, oh, kitty, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Let's come again. Huh? No? What's wrong? Talk to me, goose. Talk to me, goose. Come here. What's wrong? Oh, you're purring. You can't be too mad. All right, hot box for lunch. Philip's got a little friend coming over, so we got sticks and some pizzas. Pretty decent, not great. Philip, uh, it's uh, one o'clock and Philip hasn't changed his clothes yet, so. Oh no! Okay, so we're starting to pack up for our uh, couple day little getaway to Great Wolf Lodge over in Cincinnati. And not much is going on tonight. We went over and did some video. Um, of a baseball player that needed a video put together for a scouting package. So I was able to get over there and do some of that, which was awesome. Um, this kid threw hard. So uh, it was really cool. Got that together, sent off already. And now we're just kind of packing up, watching baseball um, on TV. But I thought, you know what? All these other vloggers do this. I'm going to showcase a crazy kitty running through the kitchen. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like... It sounded like it was the Kentucky Derby. She just went vroom, bare one arm. Anyway, I'm gonna showcase what's in my camera bag. So here's the camera bag that I have. And what I do, don't mind that pile in the corner. That's maybe Goodwill stuff. So don't mind that. Anyway, so in my bag, here's what I have and I take with me. Now I'm gonna switch to the GoPro in a little bit so you can see kind of the camera that I use, but um, First things first is your sound quality. This is a Rode microphone. Usually it's plugged in and sitting on top of the camera. When I show it um, in a few minutes uh, with the GoPro, it will be on top there. But this is the microphone that we plug in. Here's my little case or uh, cover for the lens. Keep it safe. This is something I just added. Here is a adapter and a strap for a camera strap. Basically do like something like this. I did it like this where it was under here. But anyway, that's a strap. And I really got this because I like to take pictures with this camera of the baseball games. I have a, another lens that I'll show you in a second. Um, and this clips on and I can do this, let the camera dangle instead of trying to put it in my pocket or not damage it when we're out at the baseball game. So this is a camera strap. Now, here is a little microphone cover thing doo -doo -doo -doo, when it's windy for a couple microphones that I have. Here's the one that I used before I got my new one. We're getting a text message about the video that we did. Um, here was the microphone that I used to have and here is another microphone, a little bit more powerful, powerful, powerful. Turn it on, plug it in and you're ready to roll. These sit on top of the camera with one of these things, a little adapter. Like with this, it sits just like this. Oh, well, easy for me to do. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? There we go. So it's like that, just on top, just the same as this one does. So those are the microphones that I used to have. I have those as backups in the bag in case I need them. Um, 
another lens cover, a couple of those things. This is for your cell phone. Basically, you can open that up, put your phone in here. It's got the little adapter so it sits on a tripod. That's in there just in case. This is for the GoPro, we'll talk about it in a second. Then I got two lenses. <clears throat> this one came standard with the camera. It's a 15, 45 millimeter. It does an okay job kind of showcasing what we're doing. Um, you can't really get too close, you can't get really too far. It's the lens that I used when I started vlogging. I got this lens, a 55-250 for extreme close-ups. This is what I use at the baseball games, different events where you can zoom in. Luke's watching me and thinking that I'm crazy, but I don't know. I like to showcase what I use, and if anybody out there is interested, hopefully you're finding some interest in this as well. This is a 55-250 millimeter. It can get really close all the way across the baseball diamond. What we're using right now is 11-22. It's got that intermediate where it's a little bit more wide. <coughs> Excuse me, we can kind of zoom in. But this is the lens that I really enjoy using because you get that wider view. And you can zoom in if you need to. Hello. And you can kind of take it back like that. So this is the, these are the lenses. This is everything that I use. Um, some of this stuff we don't use. I haven't used this in a long, long, long time. But I still like to have it in the bag just in case. And then up top here, I've got some extra wires and uh, a screw, uh, a little um, wrench thing for the tripod that we have. It, it needs tightened once in a while. So that is what's in the bag for the camera stuff. Okay, so that's everything for the Canon camera that I have. Now, I also have a GoPro Hero 9. Um, I had a Hero 6, I think, uh, the great ocean incident of 2021. We took it in the ocean because it said you could take it in the ocean and then it stopped working. So that sucked, got a new one. This one's awesome, but uh, unfortunately had to buy this. This is a little blue case that goes on it. it just kind of keeps it safe. It is very, very rugged as you know, it's a GoPro, but I like this extra uh, level of security. And then this is a little stand that I had for the other one that I use this sometimes. Uh, we did some video of that baseball player. I did some slow-mo with this and I just basically held it. So this is nice because it's got the tripod. You can set it down, you can angle it up, anything like this. This is what I use for most of the time lapse video that you see. Also, when I order the GoPro, you get this nifty little case, this little hard, hard shell case basically. And these are all things that I have acquired, purchased, anything like that. Um, a second battery actually came with the GoPro. So you got two batteries. Um, you have a cat now on the table behind you, so we'll see how this turns out. Um, this nifty little thing is a little clip, you can see. And it's got a little thing on top where it'll attach to the GoPro. So this is magnetic. You can either put it on a magnetic surface or you can clip it somewhere. I clipped this on top of our stove um, and pointed the camera down when I did the, tr uh, the time lapse of our steaks that we did just a few days ago. But here is something cool that's in the GoPro 9 that was not in a previous version, but look at this. These little things right here that go in here. Boop, and then you put the little screw right there. They just go like that. So they're automatically there. Before you had to put a case on it and do stuff like that. So now uh, you have that like that. So that's pretty cool. So we got this cool clip, magnetic. Um, this is water, uh, or it, it um, does not sink, it, it uh, floats basically. So this is something you use for your water sports. Put this wrist around, uh, wrap around your wrist, tighten it, and then, oh, if you drop it, there you go, it doesn't go off or anything like this. This is what I'm gonna use, hopefully, um, a lot at Great Wolf Lodge. This little piece right here just kinda comes out and it goes into the other one. So we're gonna do that, get this all set up, but this is what I'm probably gonna be carrying the GoPro around with uh, while we're doing this stuff. I bought this because I was so pissed off that the water got in and damaged it, <clears throat> the uh, the other GoPro that we had. We had one of these for the, older Go the old GoPro, but I took it off because you can't really hear the sound that well. I took it off and I learned my lesson. The cat is, uh, I don't know what we're doing back here, but I got a new one of these, so, Put it in here, anywhere you want. Um, this may be something that I do 
going around and, and down the water slide. So I have another set of protection because I do not want to damage this basically. So we've got this, we've got our extra battery. And then they gave us a little bag that's just full of little doodads that you can kind of connect on anywhere else. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, so that's it. I like to put this case in the bag and then you can zip it up and it's got a nice little strap. You can take it with us. So now I'm going to switch to the GoPro so you can see the camera that I vlog with every day. Okay. So here is the camera that we use. This is the Canon EOS M50. I love this little thing. It is uh, mirrorless and it's got the screen that comes out. Um, hello. Basically, when I'm vlogging, here is what I what I do. You can see the video over here. You can see right into the lens, and this is me just kind of talking to the camera. So this is the camera that I use a lot. I use it for pictures. I use it for video. I've got my microphone I just talked to. Uh, I talked about on the top, plugged into the side. And then I've got this handy little Manfrotto tripod. I love this thing. It is amazing. Let me set you down here for a second. And what I do with this is you push this button right here and it kind of rotates. So when I was just talking to you a minute ago, I had to rotate it up so you could see me. Now it's more level. But anyway, this tripod is amazing. It's the same. You can kind of grab it right here and hold on to it. I think that this is really, really decent. It's stable. And honestly, this is not the most expensive camera, but it's not the cheapest, <clears throat> but I love it. I think it's awesome. When you're looking at it from the other side, this is what you get. You kind of see right in here. So when I'm doing video for anyone, if they don't want to see themselves, here's what I do. Now, let's look at this real quick. Let's put this down. And if you're not a camera dork, then this may not be too exciting for you, but Here's all the different settings we have. We've got filters. I don't know how much of this you can see, but, um, or if it is anything you want to see. But anyway, you got all these filters you can pick from. Black and white, soft focus, fish eye, water pad, you know. I'm gonna mess around with this. When we get done here, I'm gonna do some uh, pictures and video of different filters here so you can kind of take, um, take a look and see. But that's one option. The, the movie recording, there's a couple different things you can think about. Auto exposure or manual. Manual is always what I do. Um, manual exposure, you can adjust all kinds of different things. Uh, all this different values. Shutter, you know, what kind of brightness, darkness. Scene intelligence. There's just all kinds of different things. All kinds of different settings. Hybrid special scene. This is what I like to do. Now, I always choose sports. That's usually what I choose to do any recording in is sports, just because if somebody's moving or anything like that, I hope you can see this. I don't like, maybe blurry, but uh, there's close up where you get really close to something, food, panning, night scene, self-portrait, all kinds of these different things. So I don't even use this camera to its full we just looked at that one, right? Yeah, we just looked at the filter. So anyway, scan is what I usually do with, with sports. So I'm gonna take a minute to take some video in different filters and see what it looks like, but that's it. This is the whole shooting match. I put this in here, and then this goes in here too, and uh, the GoPro that we're on right now goes in here, and there we go, and we're off. Okay, we're learning together. Those filters don't work on video. So I'm going to take some pictures and uh, that's what you'll be able to see with the filter. So I'm going to add those pictures in now. We're going to go wrap up the evening, watch the rest of the baseball, call tonight, get ready to roll tomorrow. But thanks for spending some time going through my bag with me. I always uh, like to talk to people about this kind of stuff. So thank you uh, for listening. Thanks for uh, being part of the vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, comment below. Um, oh yeah. Two things. Number one, Craig to the Mets. Hello, that's not trending yet. Let's go. I should be the general manager of the Mets. And number two, today was, what was our holiday today? I don't know. Wear bad clothes and have to go into Walgreens because their drive-thru is closed.
Wow. <laughs> let me let me paint you a picture. <laughs> Heidi may have a cool cats and kittens shirt on with about 20 species of cats and little mermaid pants. And apparently she went to Walgreens and had to go in and talk to the pharmacist. So And my hair's not brushed. And her hair's not brushed. I hate when it happens. That's why I brush my hair every day. I'm a beautiful princess. Okay. Uh anyway. Um, all right, that's it for us on a Tuesday. We got to get me, we got to get us trending for Craig to the Mets. I mean, that has to happen, right? I've got to, huh? It's hashtag Craig to the Mets. Oh, it's Garden Gnome Day. That's what we got. Uh, another fun fact. Let me paint you another picture. Who was that? The Dodgers won in dramatic fashion. It was crazy. Um, okay, back to the task at hand. Garden Gnome Day. Google Garden Gnome and look at the images. There's a lot of inappropriate stuff out there. We are a dirty society. We are filthy. Shame on you. Shame on you for buying this stuff. It is not good. You don't need that stuff in your garden where there's kids walking around and the elderly. Garden Gnomes used to be so sweet and innocent with their hats and their pipes and stuff. Now, don't. Oh, shame on you. Okay. Have a great Tuesday. We will talk to you tomorrow before we hit the road. See ya.